Hey guys, it's been a while. How have you been? How are you? What are you doing? <laughs> uh, I'm back at it again. Please excuse my long waiting time, but I had to manage the German channel as well. But here I am uh, having the newest uh, two Swatch uh, models here with me and I would like to discuss them with you further. <music> So before we start, uh, let's start with the facts and the technical details regarding the new watches. So we have here the Swatch X Blancpain 50 Fathoms. The watch has a diameter of 42.9 millimeters, a thickness of 14.4 millimeters and a luck to luck of 48 millimeters. The case uh, has a water resistance of 91 meters, uh, which will be a detail I will be discussing further in the video. The movement is the Swatch System 51 movement with a power reserve of around 90 hours and the movement uh, is only made up of 52 parts. The watch is costing around 390 euros here in Europe. That's it basically for the facts and the numbers regarding these two watches. Of course, there are a lot more than just the numbers on a spec sheet. The funny thing is, last year the same thing happened when Swatch uh, brought out the Moon Swatch. People went crazy, the internet simply broke down. But the same thing happened this year again uh, when we saw the teaser trailer of the crown with the Swatch logo and the JB logo. I thought everyone was freaking out. And that's also something that I'm really fond of, actually, because I think Blompa is a brand that deserves a lot more uh, of the limelight than it actually gets. Because Blompa, for those who didn't know, actually uh, was the one who first introduced the world to the dive watch. In 1953, it was actually before Rolex. And Rolex was the one who took inspiration from the 50 Fathoms when they designed their Submariner. It even went that far that Rolex wasn't even allowed to use unidirectional bezel for the Submariner because Blancpain had a patent on it. So that's also something that I find really special regarding the brand of Blancpain. Also one simple thing, when I saw that Swatch was uh, introducing a Blancpain, I was really thinking uh, whether they would put a quartz movement or a mechanical movement inside of them because Blancpain is one of those brands who never did quartz and according to uh, Jean-Claude Beaver will never do quartz. So I really thought hard about what type of movement they were going to put in this and then it came to me System 51 and I think it's ingenious. As for the case, the case is one-to-one -one the very same case that uh, Blompa uses in their 50 Fathoms, but one thing they improved. They improved the size of it. So the original 50 Fathoms has a diameter of 45 millimeters. The watch is quite large. It is thick and big and I can't wear it. I can't pull it off and I think a lot of you guys either can't pull it off. So that's something that Swatch improved and they reduced the size to a more wearable 42 millimeters. And that's something I think Blompa should do as well to be honest. Besides the size and the material, the case is one-to-one -one exactly the same thing. The material is Swatch's special patented bioceramic material. Some people call it plastic. I'm really not sure what it is. According to Swatch, it is a mixture of ceramic and resin. I think there is something onto it probably because if it wasn't, why should they just point it out so many times? So I think it is probably something more than just plastic. But yeah, the case uh, looks like plastic. It feels like plastic and it weighs like plastic. It looks like it just came out of the 3D printer, to be honest. But that's also not a bad thing because the watch is a fun, quirky watch for introducing some one into the world of mechanical watches and I think that's a good thing. Uh, something good I think is the bezel because the original 50 Fathoms has a bezel insert or made out of sapphire crystal and also has loom inside the bezel. This one obviously it doesn't have sapphire but it is some form of mineral glass or something. It also has some loom in it and that makes the watch a thousand times cooler I think in the dark. The dials are pretty nice. Um, instead of the regular sunburst finish that Blomper uses on the 50 Fathoms, Swatch uses a smoked grainy finish that gives the whole watch a completely different feel and I quite like it. You can see it the best here in the Pacific version of it I think. The middle of the dial as you can see is pretty light and as it reaches the edge of the dial it gets darker and I quite like that to be honest. One thing uh, that also stayed exactly the same as the original 50 Fathoms are the handset and the indices. The handset are the same sword hands that Blompa uses and also the indices and the 12, 3, uh, 6 and 9 that we have are also the same. Same. We also have a date window between 3 and 4, which is also the same as the original. And I quite like that, to be honest. It makes the watch better wearable in an everyday scenario. A small detail that Swatch hid within the models, and that's also something that you will hear quite a lot in this video, attention to detail, is that in some variants of this watch, more specifically, the no radiation and the one with the liquid test, the humidity test on the 6 o'clock, I think it's the Arctic and the Antarctic, those two versions don't have Arabic numerals 
numerals uh, on the dial, they have indices and they also have a different Blancpain logo. They have the vintage Blancpain logo. And I think that's amazing. I think that's something that only will be appealing to the collectors within us. But that's something that where you can see that Swatch did not forget us collectors and they really thought about the details and I really like that. The strap is a simple NATO strap, nothing to write home about, nothing special, but the hardware is apparently also made out of um, bioceramic and I quite like that as well. And on the hardware it says Swatch and it says Scuba and it says 50 Fathoms. So we have all the three like brand names of the watch, which is Swatch, Blompa and 50 Fathoms Scuba. And I quite like that. A small detail that I really like as well on the case is the flank of the case where you usually will find the Blompa branding here on the side. In this case, got it, case. <laughs> In this case, you will find the Swatch branding, uh, which is also a small nod to it. So what I really like is this whole collaboration between the two brands, because I think they really did it very well and very tastefully. And I really like that. So both of the brands get the limelight. And I think that's a good thing. A funny thing I noticed is uh, regarding the logos, because the same as in the Moon Swatch uh, here in the 50 Fathoms also, the logo of the original brand is larger than the logo of Swatch. And I think that's something that Swatch it intentionally so that people will identify this watch more as a Blompa and less as a Swatch. But let me tell you guys, it is a Swatch. It is a Swatch. It just looks like a Blompa. It's like driving a Ferrari with an engine of a Ford. It's not bad. I'm not telling you that Ford is a bad thing, but it's not what it looks like. And you guys should know that, I think. What I really like about this watch too is the case back, which is see-through. And that's something that Swatch actually did better than the original, in my opinion. And the original one has a a closed case back you cannot see the beautifully made movement but in this case you can see the movement and it's the Swatch System 51 movement. The System 51 is a very special movement in my opinion because it is a milestone to production because the System 51 is produced entirely by machines not by humans and that's something that you usually don't see in mechanical movements to be honest and another cool detail about the System 51 is that it only has around 50 parts in it and that's also very very special they're all held together with the central screw in the middle that holds all the bridges together and i think the whole system of it you know system <laughs> is is really cool and what i like is that the rotor looks like a peripheral rotor but it is actually a sheet of glass with a weight at the end of it but the weight is within the case so you don't see it so what it looks like to you is that the rotor is only a piece of glass and printed on it is 50 fathom scuba and on the other side is a sea creature the sea creature that is specific to the body of water where this watch belongs so to say and that's really nice and the movement overall is very very nice nicely finished. It has a laser engraving on it. Every watch looks different and that's something I really like about this watch. So to summarize, I really like it. I think it's good because I think what Blompa is doing is the whole watch industry. It's taking itself too seriously anyways and especially Blompa. And when you look at the digital world, Blompa is almost non-existent to be honest. And what Swatch did is putting a bit of living energy within the brand. And I really like that because I think Blompa deserves a lot more than it gets. And that's also something that a lot of young collectors who would like to get a taste of how uh, 50 Fathoms wears on your wrist but cannot simply afford a 15,000 euro watch, they can get it by buying a watch that costs 390 euros. By the way, good luck buying it. Maybe you should start camping now instead of watching this video. But the watch is okay. It is fine. I really like it. And I'm really interested uh, about how you like it. Which color is your favorite? Let me know in the comments down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. I will try to post more on it. I promise. And I will catch you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.